In the last video, we studied about what is life ray and what makes life ray special. Today, in this video, we will how to set up life ray server in your system and how to configure with the database. And first, we talk about agenda of this video. Agenda of this video to guide through the process of setting up life ray where will we see the prerequisites and go through the steps of library installations. So first we talk about prerequisites. Firstly we will need to ZDK install your system and second is we require the database like MySQL, Postgres, MariaDB but today this video demonstration we will using MySQL the database and act as storage space on your library instance holding essential data. And next is as for the server we will using library community edition. You can easily download it from library official site. And next is activation key. There is no need an activation key for community editions of library. The community editions offer a robust setup of features without activation key requirement. However, if you are opting for the enterprise edition, then you will need to activation key. This key unlock additional features and functionality exclusive to the enterprise editions. So let me take to the next step of setup step of setup first we will download new version from library site library dxp from library official site and after that we will create a folder a server and unzip your library server in the folder and next is put the activation key inside the deploy folder and next go to the library tomcat server and navigate to home and go to the bin folder and inside there click startup.bat file and after the start server to configure the basic requirement with the help of MySQL server. So let me next after the start library server setup of set step of configure with the library server database. First we need to switch database from hypersonic to MySQL and Create a data, database in the MySQL server like L portal and everything is named according to our preferences. After give username and password database and restart the server. And after the restart, you login into the library home and login in credentials. And library provide a default password, a, a test user, a like test. So all right, now that we conclude our presentations, let's move on practical part. Here we'll talk through the step of installation library. Let's get start. So first. You need to download JDK 11 and Life Ray Server MySQL and activation key. So I have already installed in my system. So you first download and install your prerequisites. So after install JDK, set the path on your system environment variables. So I have already these and now I am going to the move on next steps and zip the library server. So click here, right click here and 
click the save and unzip and extract the file here and wait a second after the zip I have successfully unzipped the library server so first you need go to the library home and go to the tomcat and go to the bin folder and find the startup.bat and click here and wait a second after starting the library server we perform next step after the start library server so wait a some second you can see your library server is started successfully now you can go to the library browser just open it and hit the url localhost 8080 now you can see the basic configuration with the library first you give the email id just i give email id test@library.com and change your the database default the library provide the default database is hypersonic so just i am changing my sql and give the database name and enter the login credentials of my sql database first we need to create a database in my sql so just open the library my sql workbench and create a schema I give the name L Portal to and click on Apply and finish. You can see your schema and database created successfully. So just copy here and go to the library basic configurations. Just I give the name. and finish the configuration if you are using community editions you don't need to activation key so i am just using community editions now you can see your basic configuration was successfully so just move on again folder and restart the server so first shut down the your server and restart the your server so just time click on and wait a some second after the restart you can see your library server configure with the library mysql database after the restart you can see your library port is started so first you go to the workbench and you can see library generate some default tables 
and go to the browser again and refresh your page. You can see library server is started successfully and login into the library portal. Just give the email id and library provide the default password is test. So first you can click and sign in into the library portal. First agree and change your password. Just I am changing my password. Give the security name now you can see and login into the library portal so this video helpful for you thank you for watching this video